What if I tell you I have made this packaging design in just 5 minutes? Yes, I am not joking. Introducing Pagdora, the mock-up website of your dreams. So without wasting any time, let's see how I made this mock-up. First of all, all you need to do is go to Pagdora's website or you can check out the link in the description. So as you can see, there are mock-ups panel and there are die lines as well that uh, we will see in few time. And there are mockup categories as well. There are more than 5000 mockups on Pagdora. So let's go to mockup. And as you can see on your left side, there are many categories of uh, mockups, box mockups, and under box mockups, under each category, there are many categories as well. Each subcategory has its own mockups, let's say gift box. Then there are 92 types of mockups inside that gift box uh, uh, subcategory. So there are a lot of mockups you can see here. And as you can see, there are bottles, food packaging mockups, cans, jars, tubes, and almost everything. Okay, first of all, let's say that uh, this is my design and I want a 3D mockup of uh, this design. This is a cookie brand, Unibic Choco Kiss Cookies. So the point is, we need to uh, make a 3D model or let's say the 3D mockup of this design so how we do that so first step is to find the right box for your design uh, I will go under boxes and uh, boxes with lid then I will find one lid box over here okay so I found the box that I need as you can see this is the box and you can see we can move it uh, like uh, in all direction in 3d as you can see here that is amazing and in on the left there are many options I will introduce you to all options one by one but first of all to make our design according to our box we have to download the die line you can download the die line by simply clicking on this download button over here and then you can download PDF die line or the illustrated die line I will simply click on PDF die line and I will click on download and as you can see it downloaded the PDF of the box die line and uh, this is the back of the I think this is the back and this is the front we have to place our design according to these dimensions and these die lines okay so as you can see this is the bleed the green line is the bleed the blue line is the trim and the, the red line is the crease so you have to adjust your design according to these die lines or you can just simply customize your size as well so as you can see i have adjusted the design according to my uh, die line of the uh, box okay then simply what we have to do is to save that to file as jpg or whatever png then simply click on upload image and here you can upload the packaging uh, image that you have designed simply choose it here we can place it here as well and as you can see we can move our design over here on the box let me adjust it over here okay then once I am satisfied I will click on save so the box material is cardboard and I don't want that to change the material of the box simply click on custom material and there you can see there are two materials available first is flute that is the cardboard one and second is the white cardboard uh, I will select the white cardboard and as you can see it changed the material of the box and while adjusting Adjusting the image you can see a little 3d preview over here you can resize it if you want so this is how our packaging is now looking if you want to customize the size of that uh, box you can simply click on custom size and you can add uh, your uh, length width or height whatever it is after that there is an background option okay inside background there are three options first is color in which we can use a solid color or we can use a gradient of our choice let's say uh, this green gradient or whatever it is or we can just simply create backgrounds with AI by clicking on this create AI background button then we have our custom image that we can upload over here and that will be used as a background uh, let's say I want this background for now okay now you can see that uh, there is an option that is 3d design we will click on that that will open a new tab in your browser and from here you can download any angle image of your product from here you can adjust your product like, like this in 3d axis or you can rotate it uh, on the X axis on the Y axis on the Z as well like this you can rotate in 3d and adjust it accordingly once you are satisfied like uh, I want this look of my product then I will simply click on super render and just simply click on JPG PNG or the whatever the resolution you like then there is a ratio whatever the ratio you like like 16 ratio line let's say we will go with the one ratio one and uh, let me adjust it uh, here 
and I will simply click on render and export and it will start downloading over here. Okay, now you can see there are scenes as well. Like uh, we can generate uh, multiple images of our products as well like these scenes. Let's say I want this scene. So as you can see it uh, adjusted our product according to the that scene. Also we can adjust it to our liking. Let's say I want this kind of angle of the product. So as you can see it is looking nice or uh, you can choose whatever the scene you like. Let's say uh, this one. So as you can see it is looking very nice like you can take uh, photos in this angle proper like or whatever it is like this angle or whatever you like. Okay then there is model option as well from where you can select the mockups uh, that we have seen earlier. Then there is an element option element feature as well that uh, you can add drag and drop simply drag and drop uh, uh, an element over the 3D space like this or you can change the color of it replace material transform it any way any way you like okay let me delete it. Then there is a background option that we have seen already seen like uh, you can choose solid color or the gradient let's say the red gradient or, or the yellow gradient like this one is looking cool. Okay after that there is a last option that is lightning. You can adjust the lightning uh, according to your need like from the here like you can adjust the height or the angle of the light from where the light is coming and the brightness of the product of your product and there is basic in which uh, you can say there are preset of lightning just say daylight skylight or whatever it is whatever you like you can select that once you are satisfied simply click on super render and you can download your product image okay now let's get back to a mockup generator then there is a video option as well uh, there are more uh, animations coming soon but there is a one animation that we can see like this one opening and closing the uh, box and as you can see this is how our animation looks you can simply select uh, super export and export the video from here and select that uh, resolution you want like uh, i want the format mp4 and the resolution 1080 and i will simply click on export now and uh, my video will be downloaded or let's say i just want the mock-up like this or whatever uh, the angle I want to adjust it like uh, let's say this one and I will click on simply render and export and it will be downloaded. So yeah that's it for this video I hope you like this video and if you want to check out Pagdora don't forget the link is in the description and if there is a discount available I will put that discount code in the description as well so make sure you check it out. Bye bye have a great day.